So the purpose of the video today is going to be to talk about how to maintain good brushes so that we don't have them falling apart here where the bristles want to stick out crazy on the sides and that we aren't having tons of paint build up at the base of your brushes. So, also you'll notice that my palette is very messy looking because I don't like to wash it when paint is wet because then I feel like it just gunks up my sink and can cause bigger issues. So if you're working with acrylic paint, it's very easy to just peel out the paint because acrylic paint basically just turns into a, a plastic. Alright, so I'm just going to give a dab of some paint. A lot of my students make the mistake of getting too much paint. You want to make sure if you are mixing colors that you mix up enough whatever color it is that you need so that you're not having to remix later. But you also want to make sure that we're not being wasteful. Our supplies can be kind of expensive. Important tip is when we are getting paint onto our brush that we're just using the end of your brush. There is no need to have paint all the way up here touching this metal part. You know, sometimes when you're doing a large painting and you think, well, let me just get it on there super fast. I need a lot of paint. It does not need to go all the way up into the metal because what you're going to find is that once you start to clean your brushes, if you've gotten it up into this onto the metal, it's also underneath the metal and that is just going to stay up there no matter how good you clean your brushes, okay? So being mindful that we are just using the hairs because really that's all we need the paint on is the hairs because that's the part that puts the paint down on the canvas or paper, whatever substrate we're using, all right? I just have a jar with water. It does not really matter about water temperature. A lot of people like to say warm water's better. So one thing that I wanna be sure to make clear is that when I'm washing up my brush, I'm not just swishing it around in the water. I'm actually pressing the brush down onto the bottom of the cup so that it can help to get all the color out. And then I do the same thing in the sink. If it's in the sink, I'm just using the bottom of the sink while water is running onto the bristles to get that color out. And if when I come to my piece of paper or whatever I'm drying it off with, and I notice that there's color coming off here, then I will go back to my water to continue to get that color out. All right, I also just have a folded up paper towel because I like to work with acrylic paints most of the time. I just dry off my brush like this. I don't push my bristles because then they're going to start fraying out. So you want to think about it like you're petting your dog's hair. You're not going to go against the hairs. You're going to go with them like this. And same thing when you're applying your paint. You don't push against those bristles. When I'm at the end of my week and I know that I've done a lot of painting, I will take soap. This is a brush cleaning soap. So this is another version of it. So I will get my brushes wet and then I will just scrub. I'm still not pushing. I'm just kind of going back and forth, but I am getting all the way up in here now because I want to make sure that I'm getting paint out of all of those little hairs. Sometimes I will leave just a little bit on my fingers and I'll brush it through like this to make sure that the brush will keep its shape because not every brush is the same. This is a fan brush and this is the shape that it should always have. This is a round and this is a flat. Another thing is you will notice that my brushes are all up. 
reason being, if I stick this down in the cup, these bristles are not gonna keep this nice shape. Always make sure that your bristles are pointed up. And I do prefer to have my brushes dry, laying flat like this, rather than having just washed them out and put in like this because then the water will start to seep down into here and there is glue that is holding these bristles together in here. If they have too much water on them for too long of a period, then they will begin to deteriorate that glue and then you'll notice that your bristles are falling out or that this metal part here becomes detached from the wood barrel here that has probably soaked for a little too long that the glue has deteriorated and now this part comes off. So anyways, take care of your brushes. All right, so I think that's it for this one and I'll see y'all in the next video.